Taylor and welcome to your bar inspired workout. So something a little different than what we've been doing over here. Um, I love bar as part of my weekly routine. It's easy on the joints. I feel so rejuvenated after these workouts. Now the equipment you need today are just some light dumbbells. I'm using five pounds. Anywhere between two and seven pounds would be ideal for this workout. If you don't have any dumbbells, you don't need to use them, but you also could use like a disposable, two disposable water bottles. Those would work perfect. All right, so what to expect for our bar workout today? Lots of high repetitions with those light weights. So nice, long and lean muscles. We are tapping into our muscular endurance today. I'm not wearing any shoes because I like to really feel and dig into the floor, but if you prefer shoes, you wear them. Um, I also am going to be on this mat. We are going to be on the floor for the last little bit. Um, so if you want to pull something out um, for a little extra cushion, that is great. So let's get that body warm and then we're going to get right into the workout. It is not rep space. This is time based today and we're just going to be seamlessly moving from one move to the other. So if you've never done bar before, I hope you like it. All right. So let's start in a nice plie. Now today, for the majority of the day, our toes are turned out. I always want those knees in line with the toes. So not in pull them out. Nice big plie. Breathe in and out again. In. Sitting into those heels. Give me a couple more. Last one. And out. Hands on the knees. Arching that back down. Rolling it up. Really waking up that spine. Big breath out as you come down. A few more here, down and up, down and up. Keeping those legs wide, I want you to lean, come center. Big side reach. So transferring all of that weight to your right leg. Chest stays forward, nice and open. Two and one. Other way, lean, center. Now today, let's keep that core nice and tight, belly button tucked in, shoulders stacked over those hips. Two and one. Bring those feet underneath you. Let's get an alternating curtsy lunge. Front toe is forward. Back leg comes behind or slightly to the side of that front leg. Nice and deep here. Nice, big, beautiful range of motion. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Take those feet underneath your hips. Big breath in, pull the elbows and sink down. Again, in, pull the elbows. Now, I want those heels to stay glued to the floor. Big reach. Squeeze that back. Two more. One more. All right. So I'm going to grab those light weights right off the bat. Again, you don't have to use them. Nice big bind body connection squeezing. All right. First move today. Feet nice and narrow right next to each other. We're going to do a narrow squat and curl with a scoop. Here we go. Nice big curl at the bottom scooping at the top. Now, not a lot of rest, lots of constant movement, which is why we're using those light dumbbells. Give me two more, and then we're just gonna pulse at the bottom of that squat. Right now, little pulses. Good, let's add some alternating curls. Again, keep those heels digging into the floor. Beautiful, all the way up, all the way down. Ooh, I'm getting that leg burn already. Three, two, and one. Take that right foot in front, lunge, find the knee. Lunge, find the knee. 
So we're doing a nice big passe at the top. All right, abs are squeezing. Let's add that curl. Squeeze, drop, in. Five more seconds. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Switch, arms stay down, find the knee. Think about pulling up. Shoulders stay away from those ears. Let's add the curl. We're starting off today with legs and biceps. So we should be starting to feel those burn. Five seconds here. We're gonna go back to that right leg. All right, I want those dumbbells up by your chest. Lunge, lift that back leg. Drop, lift. Take your time. Nice big squeeze of that booty. 10 seconds, lift. Nice long energy out of those toes. One more, switch legs. Nice long lunge, big lift. Now watch that chest, keep that chest lifted, okay? We're not dropping, nice and tall. Squeeze, digging into that front heel. Nice and long from your head to that pinky toe. Three, two, and one. Come back to that right foot, hinge forward, Give me some flies. Up and down. Beautiful. All the weight is in that front leg. Here's what it looks like from the side. All right, we're gonna add on. If you want, nice lift in that back leg. Three, two, and one. Feet under the hips. We are going back to the top. Little curl, scoop, drop. Feet under those hips. Now if you want more inner thigh here, glue those knees together. Those inner thighs are gonna be squeezing, firing up, keeping those knees together. One more, hold at the bottom right here. Again, if you want more, knees together. I feel in those inner thighs, wake up. If not, you can always take it a little wider, alternate some curls. Woo! Now the most you're gonna see a move today is twice through, okay? So don't save anything. Give me what you got. Three, two, one. Right leg forward. Passe. Now, what does it mean to passe? It's bending the knee, toe finds the opposite knee. Drop, lift, add the curl. Woo! All about that muscular endurance today. High repetitions, staying low in the weights. If you only have heavy weights, you can always switch you can always alternate those arms, okay? Drop, pull. Imagine there's a string running through that standing leg. Pull up at the top. Add the curl. Drop. Amazing. We're gonna go right to that bent fly. Weight in the right leg, right here. All right, this is the last move in this section, and then we're gonna be moving on. If you want, balance, add that back leg. Squeeze. You know what I realized? We should be doing the other leg. So, keep flying. We're gonna make it even. We're gonna stay here on this leg a little bit longer. If those arms get tired, take a break or alternate. Find your balance. 
All right, finishing off that nice arabesque, nice and long, head to tailbone. You have 15 seconds. So your option is alternating those arms. Little bend in the elbow, shoulders away from the ears. Three, two, and one. All right, we have been going, not a lot of breaks. Grab a drink if you need it. We're gonna set up in a nice wide plie. Knees in line with those big toes, push those knees out. We're just gonna start by alternating those heel lifts. You can drop the weights or hold them, just adds a little extra. Now, nice and big, take your time, heels all the way up. Three, two, one, hold it here. Give me a bottom half, plie, half and down. Ooh, good morning, push those knees out, push them out, five, Four, three, two, keep that plie at the top, arms overhead, adding an overhead tricep extension. Lift, drop, squeeze, keeping those elbows by your ears. Belly button tucked in. Keep those shoulders stacked right over those hips. Keep that booty tucked in. One more. Bring those arms down, feet together. Hinge, arms at 90. Give me a kick back. Bend at the elbow. Again, nice long spine. I'm gonna say that a lot today. Take it to a straight arm kick back. Keeping those elbows straight. Pinkies up. Five. Four, now it's endurance day. That means we're not done, you're gonna pulse. Little baby pulses at the top, come on. Yes, you can. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stay here. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to that plie. Knees over toes, drop it, alternating heel lifts. Does this look familiar? I hope so. Breathe. Again, shoulders over hips. I don't want that booty sticking out. Nice and big. Three, two, and one. Stay here, stay here. Bottom half, half drop. Keeping those shoulders up. It's really easy right here to stick that booty out. Three more, two more, one more. Stay here, stand tall, arms overhead, drop and lift. Now if you find that those knees are coming in, bring that turnout inwards. You don't have to have a big turnout. So you do what's best for you and your body. Beautiful, big lift. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, feet together, elbows in. Kick it back. Amazing. All right, let's finish out this tricep section. Straight arms. Nice big squeeze at the top. Squeeze and drop. Five, four, three, two. Do you remember what's coming? The pulse. Yes, ma'am. We got it. Yes, you can. Come on, we're in it together right here. You're burning, I know. Last movement for those triceps today. All right, here we go. We're going six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, I'm sweating. It is hot down here though. I'm in my basement and it's a warm day. I'm not complaining though. It's been cold for a long time. 
nice and wide. We're going to pull and lift. Those legs stay stationary. Come with me, dropping, pulling. Beautiful, drop and pull. I do not want you arching your back. If you find that you're rolling or arching, don't drop as low. Two more, knee pushing out over that toe, and switch, drop, pull. Good, all the weight over that knee, that heel, digging in. Three, two, and one. Feet come together, palms forward. We're gonna circle up all the way. Now, if your shoulder doesn't like this one, you can modify by coming to shoulder height. You do you. All right, 10 seconds with both arms. Woo! Big breath. Nice, beautiful circle. Keep those dumbbells slightly in front of your face. Two more. One more. All right, quick shake. Reset. We're coming. Side raise, leg lift. Side raise. Now, if you notice, my knee is not straight. Okay, that knee is turned out, leading with that heel. We're waking up those inner thighs here. We're lifting that leg with that inner thigh. Give me four. Control. Don't drop. Two. And one. All right, reset. Legs wide on that right leg. Drop and pull. Drop and pull. Round two. Let's work on that range of motion. Get all the way down. Tap that booty on a chair. Drop, squeeze. Three, two, belly button pulled in. Switch, drop. How are we doing? Man, people sometimes I think see a bar workout. Oh, looks like no big deal, right? Until you do it. The burn is like no other. Two and one. Bring those feet in, alternating circles. Now, while we're moving those arms, think about that core. Belly button pulled in and you're squeezing as if someone's gonna punch you right here. Both arms in. Now, in your peripheral vision, I want you to see those dumbbells. If you can't, they're probably too far back. Okay, we're slightly in front of our body. Why? Why? Because it's easier on that shoulder joint. Protect those joints. Three. Ooh, how are those shoulders doing? And one, come to first position. Heels together, toes slightly turned out. Side raise and lift. Left out of plie on that side raise. Controlled. On that leg lift, inner thighs working, but also, you feel in that core? I am. All right, let's do four, three. We're gonna be laying on our mat after this last one. Hey, I'm gonna set those dumbbells to the side. We're gonna come all the way down on our hip. So, stack those hips, belly pulled in. I'm gonna move these out of the way, I'm gonna kick them. I like to bend that back knee for stability and my front arm on the floor for stability. Belly tucked in. This front leg nice and long, we're gonna lift. Some more inner thighs. Lift and drop. 
All right, focusing on that mind-body connection. So here's the deal. You're only doing this like one time, okay? So don't save anything, stay with me. Imagine there's a string hooked to that inner thigh, pulling, pulling. One more, keep that leg off the floor. Come front and back, front, back, belly tight. Amazing. If you can, try to keep that thigh off the floor. If this is too much pressure on that shoulder, you can come all the way down, okay? Do whatever works up here, whatever's the most comfortable. Okay, stay with me 30 more seconds. Passe, reach, passe, extend. In, out, in, down. Ooh! Oh my goodness. Hello. Stay with me. Give me a few more 10 seconds worth, and then we're gonna switch to that other side. Five, four, three, two, and drop. Flip it over, nice and long, on that elbow, or come all the way down. Back foot, nice and planted, nice and long, lift. Again, we have that string lifting, lifting, amazing. Give me five, four, three, Ooh. All right, front and back, here we go, out and in. Now, don't just go through the motions. Nice big squeeze, imagine that leg is in mud, thick mud. Pull it back, in, pull. Okay, stay with me. You have 30 seconds left on this leg. Passe, reach, and drop. Nice and long, don't hurry through those movements. Hit, point, and drop. Ooh, my inner thighs are gonna be sore tomorrow. Yes, they are. Reach, beautiful. All right, friends, eight seconds left. Two more. Last one. All right, flip it over onto all fours. We are almost there. We're gonna work that outer booty and our core and we're gonna be out. Shoulders right over those wrists, knees under those hips, one leg, knee bent, bring it up and down. I'm gonna face you. Trying to keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze and drop, squeeze and drop. Here we go, three, two, and one. Extend that leg, lift, and drop. Oh yeah, there we are. Stay with me, stay with me. Just like last time, we are only doing each leg one time. Nice and long, point that toe, four, three, Two, I'm gonna to turn to the side again. You're going to flex that foot, push, and bring it back in. Push straight back and in. Push. That knee is nice and tall. Give me 10 more seconds and we will switch to the other side. Again, we're in that mud. Pull, push, two, and one, reset, other side, knees bent, here we go, lift and drop, lift and drop, nice and tall, now what's that belly doing? Pull it in, belly button pulled in towards that spine, give me five, four, three, 
two, and one. Take that leg nice and long, resetting, lift and drop. Ooh, that burns a little extra on this side, isn't it? Lift and drop. All right, give me 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna come to the side again. Flexing that foot, push and lift. Push and in. Woo! Last lower body move. We got it, we got it. 10. Bring that knee up just a little bit. Three, two, and one. Ooh, sit back. Stretch out that booty. All right, onto your back. Let's finish it off. Lower back pressing into the floor. Bending those knees. Dropping right and left. Just a little tap on those toes. Now the entire time, I want that lower back glued into the floor, belly button pulled down, chest staying open. Focus on that breathing. Breathe out as those legs come up. Your next move, you're going to roll it all the way up and all the way down. All right, feet on the ground, straighten those legs, arm overhead, big breath out, roll it up, and all the way down. One vertebrae at a time. We only have about five, so give me what you can. One more. Stay tall, hinge, weight in that booty. Arms come forward, reach back and center, back and center. Try to reach that arm all the way behind you, right? Straight back, chest stays open, shoulders pushing down. All right, friends, you have about a minute and a half until we are done. Stay with me. Lay back down on the floor. Drop those knees. Let's repeat all three of these core movements and we're gonna be done. Woo! Feels so good. Reset that lower back. Squish that marshmallow into the floor. Ready? and drop both legs, straighten them out, arms overhead, roll up, and down. Controlling. Good. Take this at your own pace. All right, let's do two more. One more, take your time. Stay up. Hinge halfway, arms out, reach it back, and lift. I want to see you. Let's go. Pull that belly button in. Stay with me. Stay with me. Open, close. Open, close. Breathe in and out. Four, three, two, and one. We did it, you guys. Lay back down for me. The most important part, stretching, taking care of those joints. Bring that right knee into your chest and straighten that leg. Take a big deep breath, pull it in a little bit closer and slowly lower. Left knee in. and reach it all the way up. Take a big deep breath, pull it all the way in for me. 
and drop. Pull both knees into your chest, roll back and forth, loosen up that spine, and hold it center, grab under those knees, roll those ankles out, and in. And let's flex and point, flex and point. Three, two, and one. Roll up, flip it over for me on all fours. Hands under those shoulders, breathe in and up. Out and down. Oh, I love this one, in and out. You've probably noticed, we've done this in a few videos, a few workouts. And down, tuck those toes, come to down dog. Heels into the floor, stretch those calves, hips up, shoulders away from those ears, nice long back. Alternate those heels. Good, come to a nice high plank. Bring one foot in to a nice low lunge. Sink nice and deep into that lunge. Opening up those hips. And hands on the floor, straighten both of those knees. All right, come back down to that lunge. Switch legs, nice low lunge. Opening up those hips. And let's straighten both of those knees. Sitting into that front heel, nice hamstring stretch. And bring those feet together. Let that neck and spine hang loose. Bend those knees, roll up nice and slow. Bring those arms up overhead, grab one wrist, reach overhead. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If there's anything you'd like to see next, please let me know in the comments. And also, as always, please like and subscribe, elbows out nice and wide so that I can get some more free content out here. Love to hear your feedback in the comments. And one wrist behind, opening up that chest. And drop, big breath in and out. One more and out. That is it for you today. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next video.